Welcome to Living in Grand Rapids, the podcast. I am Josh May. I am Katie Arnold. I am Leah Hills. And I'm Ross Bacon. And we are four of the Maker Group Realtors with Remax of Grand Rapids coming to you another edition of Living in Grand Rapids. One of our favorite places, our favorite place to live is Grand Rapids. And we're going to get you excited this winter about some of our favorite activities to enjoy in West Michigan. Some of our favorite activities are hopefully your favorite activities and let's rock and roll. Who wants to kick us off today? You know, this is a fantastic episode to go over, especially for anybody who is planning a move to Michigan who may not have experienced a winter here. Because believe it or not, Grand Rapids is not exactly known for its great winter weather. So knowing what to do to get over the winter blues in this area is how you survive a West Michigan winter. Hey, well, and how you can still get outside, right? Like you can you, exactly. still get out in yes. nature and it's very have easy fun. to get cooped up and saying, you know, I just want to stay inside. But you know, these are some fantastic events and some, a lot of things to do that get you outside and really enjoy a West Michigan winter. I love it. I agree. I, I love it. So I'm going to kick it off. Is that cool with you guys? Of course. Yeah. All right. Let's get into ski resorts, local ski resorts. So, you know, there's a lot of people that relocate here from anywhere across the country. And there's a lot of great places to learn how to ski in West Michigan. And, you know, we're going to start with Cannonsburg. For those uh, people that ski at Cannonsburg, there's a lot of leagues there. There's, you know, tubing, there's, uh, uh, winter uh, mountain biking, you know, snowshoeing, which Leo will get into, but just a great overall ski resort for people to learn. And that is just 20 minutes outside of Grand Rapids, 15 minutes on the north side of Grand Rapids, uh, Cannonsburg Ski Resort. You know, you've also got uh, Mulligan's Hollow, which is over in Grand Haven. So if you want to get over to the Lakeshore, now that's a little bit of a smaller beginner hill in Grand Haven. You can go to Mulligan's Hollow. I believe they just have a rope tow there. Again, great place to learn to ski for the kids. Um, We'll go a little bit farther south also. A lot of people go down to Timber Ridge. Now, this is about 35 minutes south of Grand Rapids. It's a little bit bigger. It's probably comparable to Cannonsburg. But Timber Ridge does have uh, ski lifts, and that is... No, excuse me. I'm sorry, you guys. Did I say Timber Ridge? I did say Timber Ridge. You did. Timber Ridge is farther south into Goebbels area. Okay. So that's about 50, 55 minutes south. What I was talking about was Bittersweet. Now, Bittersweet is uh, 30 minutes south down 131 in Otsego. So, you know, you've actually got some great ski resorts within a 30 minute drive of Grand Rapids. And then, you know, we as a family, we take a lot of day trips. So we'll actually drive an hour and 45 minutes. We'll go up to Crystal for the day. Maybe for a long weekend, you've got uh, Crystal Mountain, some great places, obviously, as you head north into northern Michigan, you know, Boyne Mountain, Nubs Knob, all that good stuff. But a lot of great ski resorts in West Michigan, for sure. I mean, the beginner ones, should I go there? Because I haven't skied. So the rope course, is that? Or the yeah. rope? <laughs> Cannonsburg would be perfect for you. I've never skied before either, Leah. Bittersweet <laughs> is great. With, they have the fast chairlift. <laughs> Too. So getting up and down uh, the mountain is always a little faster at bittersweet. If you if you want to learn, I mean, it's you know, Cannonsburg does get pretty busy on the weekends, obviously. Uh, so if you fi- if you can carve some time out as a beginner to maybe find a time that's not so busy, you can have a little bit more space. Uh, believe it or not, you know, you guys actually knew this. I was a ski instructor for a long time. Yeah, and you know, I'm happy to help you guys if you ever need help. Okay. I think I trust your kids more than you <laughs> Josh is going to help me out this year. I have, <laughs> talked about this. I have taught all my children how to ski. You give me a half a day, I will get you a, to an expert level. Uh, so any listeners, you got my cell phone number, 616 3180 <laughs> Taking oh, wow. lessons. Wow, what good plug. Good plug. Take, <laughs> taking lessons for the 2022 season. Uh... Anyway, Leah, what do you got? Obviously, I don't do any of the snow, uh, skiing or snowboarding, but what I do do is with my photography, I go hiking and you got to get some crampons, some rat tracks if you are going to go hiking in West Michigan, because I see a lot of people on the trails and they are slipping and sliding and falling all the time. I love to go to Hoffmaster. Hoffmaster is probably the favorite place to go to, but again, always icy, so 
just be prepared for that. But I go to Hoffmaster, Muskegon State Park. I will, I have some crampons that have the good old spikes in them. So I have some mega ones that oh, yeah. I go out you're, on the you're a real alpinist. I, well, I wouldn't go that far, but <laughs> <laughs> um, I like to go onto the piers of the lighthouses. So that always gets dicey. And again, do not recommend going out there with just tennis shoes. Um, but yeah, I go out on the piers and take pictures of the lighthouses when nobody's around because it's so icy and it's a little dangerous. So that's yeah, awesome. that's what I do. Yeah. In the winter. I love well, it. I'll talk about sledding because who doesn't love to like bring out your inner child and go sledding in the winter. And there's all sorts of different places that you could go to, but really I want to highlight something that I learned about. I didn't know this was a thing until I was doing some research for our episode today, but we have an organization in Grand Rapids called Thrive Outside Communities, Grand Rapids, and they help provide the gear that's needed for anyone who's kind of maybe can't afford sleds or any sort of gear, like depending on the different times of year. And so in the winter, they're at Mullock and Plaster Creek parks every Saturday from one to four with free rentals of any of the gear that you would need. So regardless of people's financial situations, they're getting into those communities and helping those kids still be able to enjoy sledding and enjoy the winter season. I just thought that was like, so cool. Very cool idea. Yeah, that is awesome. Thanks for sharing because, you know, I guess I've been a little bit naive. I didn't realize that that existed and um, that's just great for the community. It is. Yeah. It's one yeah. of those things that I think we take for granted and we maybe don't necessarily think about, but I just, yeah. So like get out there sledding. And if that's something that is you have like the financial strain that's kind of holding you back because it's hard to afford all the gear for it. Check out Thrive Outside Communities, Grand Rapids, and still get to enjoy sledding this winter. That's awesome. Yeah. Love it. What do you got, Ross? You know, all your events uh, evolve, can be done anytime this winter, assuming there is a good amount of snow. Um, Leah's, uh, you can pretty much go anytime. Uh, but you know, there's a great festival downtown Grand Rapids, January 7th through March 6th coming up. I went to this last year during the pandemic. It was actually great uh, to see how many people outside, um, you know, felt a little normal during the pandemic. Uh, it was a really cool festival. Uh, you know, they got art ex uh, exhibitions. They got ice sculptures. Um, a lot of things going around at Rosa Parks down there. And just it, the kind of the whole town, the whole downtown kind of becomes a part of the festival. So there's a lot to do. Um, great opportunity to visit some of the local bars, restaurants, shops, uh, and enjoy the festival all in one. So, you know, that's, again, that's January 7th through March 6th. Fantastic event. Um, you know, Josh, take the family. Leah, yeah. Katie, maybe can we get you over here to town and we can head downtown, you know? Here we go. I love it. <laughs> I uh, love it. So we got winter festivals, we've got sledding, snowshoeing, skiing, plenty of things to enjoy outside. And, you know, there's so much to do inside. So all the things that we've talked about in the past, go enjoy your local museums, the children's museum on a nice Saturday morning, you know, all those other things you can do inside. If you don't want to go outside, there's plenty of options there too. But Today, we focused on all the outdoor activities, and we hope you guys learned something. So if you're relocating to Grand Rapids or live in Grand Rapids, and you're looking for things to do this winter, here you go. And we'll let you get back to living in Grand Rapids. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to Living in Grand Rapids, the podcast. Please take a moment to rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast and share with your friends. You can find us on Instagram at maygroupgr or online at marketgrandrapids.com.